With a little health and a little wealth and a lot of love. What are hormones? So I think a lot of people think of hormones in the like sex hormone sense. So they, they think of hormones more as estrogen and testosterone, sometimes progesterone. You know, they they think of it in that way. What's but progesterone? There it's another like female or uh -huh. I mean overall or a generalization is that it's a female. Let's sex just pause. Hormone. If you know what progesterone progesterone. <laughs> progesterone is Drop us a comment because I don't know what the heck that is. You're Maybe probably a female or oh, okay. in the, in the health <laughs> No, in the I'm not a female. Sector. Last time I said, <laughs> no, no, but honestly, I, I never heard of that. So, yeah. So, those are kind of what people think of when they think of hormones, but there are a whole slew of other hormones that are working in the body to help with functioning with, with bodily systems. And so, really, the to kind of simplify what a hormone is, it, it's, it's kind of a messenger molecule. So it's it's a, a chemical substance in, in your body that relays messages and enacts actions on on a cell or whatever is receiving that that message. Give an example. So for example, estrogen or you know, luteinizing hormone or certain types of, of hormones, they act on different. <laughs> what is luteinizing hormone? So I'll kind of go at the top. So okay, you've got. Please. <laughs> so you have. By the way, guys, this is why we do health and wealth. And we purposely, we develop these scripts. We develop these episodes. We don't showcase what we're talking about. I'm really the, the average person and I don't know this and vice versa. So hopefully it's helpful to you guys. Um, so I'm going to ask questions that I, you know, go. <laughs> so hormones in general can be very, I mean, just the idea of them and how they function can be very complex. Initially, it was thought to be just certain glands in our bodies, like the adrenal glands or the pituitary gland or the pancreas. Those are main kind of endocrine or hormone producing organs. But now we're finding that there are a lot of different organs that secrete hormones and that hormones can be can be you know passed from one area to another in different ways than than what we thought before but if you kind of simplify it a little bit you talk about at the brain level you have a part of your brain called the hypothalamus and it secretes hormones and it affects the pituitary gland we talked about hypothalamus last episode we did ooh it's the hypothalamus is very important in basically maintaining homeostasis, so maintaining balance within your body. And there are several different areas that affect several different processes. It's, it can be very complex, but if you think about hormones, so you have several hormones that come from the hypothalamus, and then they act on the pituitary gland, which is another gland kind of up around your brain. And then those hormones are then circulated and they affect other organs like the adrenal glands or... The kidneys. The adrenal glands. So they're like little hats that sit on top of your kidneys is kind of how you can think about them. Got it. Okay. Um, and your adrenal glands, you know, they they are where your cortisol is produced. Now, I've heard of the word cortisol. I always associate with fat. Is that right? We'll talk about it more in this episode okay. for sure. Yeah, we're, but getting, that's, we're getting kind of deep. But no, I want to But know, yeah, yeah, but the... So you have certain hormones. And when we talk about sex hormones in general, so you have... FSH and LH are two different hormones that come from your pituitary gland and they act on your ovaries or sometimes on your, your testicles. So they, there's always this, they, you can kind of think of them as just little messengers that take, you know, they take information from one area to the next area. What information are they transmitting though? Or maybe it's not transmitting is the right word, but uh, taking. So it happens some. Sometimes it, it's not necessarily the, how much of the hormone or the level of the hormone, but kind of the, how, you know, the pulsatility or the, um, what's a, another word, I guess the frequency that a hormone is, is produced. So like you're a type of hormone that you produce in your hypothalamus, depending on how quickly or that, how quickly those pulses interact will determine like how much of your LH or your FSH of that next hormone down the line is going to be produced. And then those hormones will go to 
you know, your ovaries or your testes. And they will say specifically for females, you know, those, those hormones will determine when you start to create follicles in your ovaries or when you'll release the egg that was created in those follicles. So it really, it's very complex and I'm trying to simplify it in this, this episode, but the, the main takeaway is that hormones are important for a lot of different functions. With a little health and a little wealth and a lot of love, that's the life that we live, Susan Scrub.